Greetings, Ed Kitts, and this is VB.net, the SQL database operating a tree view. I appreciate there may be other ways of coding this. To be honest, this is my experiment with tree view. I have tried it once or twice in the past, never really done anything serious with it. So I've taken it just a little bit further. The idea really is if you have a hierarchy of a list of companies, each of those companies can have a list of departments. Within those departments you could have teams. I won't go into specifics because I don't have any clear examples. So the idea really is that you are a parent, uh, your root is whatever you want to call it, to be honest, and then you might have three different companies, each with their own list of departments, and each of those departments can have their own list of teams. Typically a department, HR, payroll, uh, I don't know, pick a name, can appear across multiple companies, so too with team names. So you've got to allow for, not duplication, but the, the idea that a team is not necessarily unique within your system. So, my screen is on the group identity. I will allow you to put in a company first, followed by a department, followed by a team. The context menu strip up here is what I use to add company, department, or team. Personnel, I didn't get as far as the personnel. This would be individual people within a team, within a department, within a company. I didn't get personnel sorted out. And so obviously you can delete the same. You can rename the same and you can display if, if you have a company what we have here is a very brief summary of the company now you may well have another screen for the company which gives your company name um, address phone numbers emails contact personnel, a ton of other stuff, so too for department and team. So these display are separate forms for each of these functions. A refresh is basically just to refresh the data. So if I run this, what I have at the moment is blank because I've made it that way. The, the essential part here is this is driven by the contents of the database. Um, I know within VB.net you can remove nodes, add nodes, and all that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. But what I've done is said at any point in time, take the data from the database, create your tree view. Um, let's see how that works. So essentially, over here, top left, you want to create a root. Now, I want to call this, I'm going to call it PLC because I have big plans. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So once that's done, I have a root identifier, which isn't showing at the moment because it's got nothing to do. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so if I go up to there and I right click, I add a company. Now this is what I get company identity, company name. The company identity you can't change once you put it in place. The company name you may have a typo, you may. The company may change its name legitimately according to Lloyds of London and whoever else. But the identity, 
Well, I, I've made it so that that doesn't change. So, let's go with company number one. <coughs> and company number one. So, if I do that, I now have my root over here. And if I expand that, I've got company number one. Yay! So, very quickly, I'm just going to go through and add a couple more. Just to give us some idea of what the heck's going on. Um, add another company. C3. C3. Now, I got fed up with expanding and contracting, so I just said, it's a button. <laughs> Expand it all. What the heck? And the opposite of that is obviously contracted. <coughs> so if I leave that open, my company number one, I want to add a department. Now this is where it gets interesting. Not that it hasn't been interesting before, you understand. I expand, and I have company number one and department number one. Now. Because of this, and because of the structure, I can add department number two. Obviously, the naming stuff is entirely down to you and your requirements. Um, so, company number two can have a department of D1. Within the company, it may well be D1. And if I expand that, company number three can have a department of oh, deck three. <clears throat> Get more windy with the names now. So expand it all. And you have company number one, two departments. Company number two, one department. Company number three, one department. Now, department number one and company number one wants a team. So you see the box here has changed. I've taken the parent and the parent of the parent. So T1, T1. Da, da, da. Yep. Right, so department. Well, let's put team one in company number two. So we have team one. Team one. <clears throat> so our picture is like this. Now going back to the admin screen, I know I engineered it to give you the room. I also engineered it so that within a limit, I can give you the data grid view, which is what this is, with the contents coming out of the database. <coughs> Basically, that's that's it. Um, I've coded for 20 rows. Obviously, if you get a big company structure, that might need to increase. I've left it for 20 for the moment. What the heck? So, what else can we do? To, I can rename department because I get this. Now, again, this now is greyed out because I don't want to be able to change the identifier. You can change the text. So if I go department 3, rename, and expand, there we go. And admin will show <coughs> So that is my tree structure, my tree view structure. It's fairly flexible. Um, it seems to be operational as if it works. Like I say, there is a fourth one which is a personnel, but I didn't get that far. The code for this 
is uh, reasonably complex. So if I if I look at this at the moment, you have a root, you've always got a root. Then you have a contract form. Let's have, let's get rid of that. Companies, that's your next level. Within the company, you will have departments. Within any department, you will have a set of teams. Uh, um, effectively, I think, I think that, that covers that. So, if I come out of there for the moment, I'll go back to the main screen. This is the um, contacts menu strip, right click menu, which comes up. The, if I get away from that, that's the blue panel, which is your group identity. So that's company, department, and team. Now, the code for this, starting at the top, is to load the tree name and the company tree. If there is a company tree, it will be loaded, which is you know consistent with what we've just looked at, the whole tree structure. If there is a tree name, that will also load. If there is not a tree name or any company tree data, you just end up with blank. This is only done once because it doesn't need to be done any more than that. So admin just shows you the admin screen, which was the top one for the root and the data group view data. Let me just go with that. Load company tree basically goes to the database and gets the information. You can see company ID, company name, department ID, department name, team ID, team name, personnel, I didn't get that far, I said. <clears throat> so with an order, then you populate the, the tree. Now, there are two parts to this. On the first time through, you want to set things up and only on the first time through. So this is when the data group indicator is zero, you do this, which is basically setting up some preliminary stuff. Any other subsequent row we get to that in is compared against save data. So has, it, has the company changed? Has the department changed? Has the team changed? All of that's handled by this. Loading the true name does, does that, and it puts the value into a global variable true name. Um, so going back to the menu context strip right click, we're setting up a new company and a blank in the department and the team. If this is a department, then we're going to get the company identity because that's what we've selected. We put that into the company boxes, the company ID, the company name. Uh, the team has two precursors, which are the company details and the department details. So that's got and then put into those text boxes. Save has two parts. Um, effectively, if the group identity is now a new name, so we're not actually creating anything new, we are updating. And I, I've coded it. Again, there might be better ways of doing it. Good job. So if we're renaming, then we do that, and then we exit the sub. If we don't, want to go into this bit, which is creating new records. Update the company, update the company department, update the company department team. So those different levels of um, renaming, if you like. So this is the opposite of the adding, this is the deleting. Um, I didn't actually walk that through, but this, this is fine. Uh, 
how this, this works. Actually. So we're deleting, we're deleting, we're deleting, partner, we're deleting team. Uh, the interesting thing is if you delete a team, you have to be specific as to the company parent and the department parent because as I showed, you could have team one appearing in three different companies. Um, so if you only delete where the team equals what you typed in on the box, you're going to clean out teams from other companies, which is not what you want to do. Expand and contract, that takes care of itself. Um, that's the rename bit. And that's basically uh, that's basically what's going on. Oh yes, uh, I will just restart the program. This bit down here, um, very quickly, I'll restart the program and look at it. Okay, um, for company three, I want to display the company details. Now this has fired off a new form, company details form. Whatever the heck you want to put in this, I dread to think. Names, addresses, URLs, phone numbers, email, contact names, and a million different things. So the same applies for the company, the department, and the team. You get a fresh form which you will have to design yourself. Uh, depending what you want to see. So from here, you can say company number three. I want to go and see the details for company number three. Bang. Click on that and get the company screen. No, that's the wrong one. Company. That's the one. Company details uh, and whatever you put in there. So I think I've just covered everything within this. I hope I have. So, this is Peter Geek signing off with a TrueView VB code and some SQL database stuff behind the scenes. Thank you very much, I'll catch you later.